Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about transactions. What is a transaction? A transaction is an executing program that forms a logical unit of database processing, right? A transaction includes one or more database access operations like insertion, deletion, modification, or retrieval operations. A single application program may contain one or more than one transactions. In an application program, a transaction is specified by begin transaction and end transaction statements. All database access operations between these two statements form one transaction, right? In application program, a transaction is specified by these two statements, begin transaction and end transaction, right? And uh, all database access operations between these two statements form one transaction, right? Now, what is a transaction? It will be more clear after this example, right? Suppose uh, there is a database of a bank and we have to transfer $500 from account of Mr. X to account of Mr. Y, right? Then for this, Now, then to transfer $500 from account of Mr. X to the account of Mr. Y, what will we have to do? It is one transaction, right? Then to transfer this uh, amount from account of Mr. X to account of Mr. Y, right? We have to subtract 500 from the balance of Mr. X and add 500 to the balance of Mr. Y, right? These two database operations will form one transaction, right? Now, the basic database access operations that a transaction can include are, first one is read item X, right? And second one is write item X. Now, what is this operation, read item X, right? In read item X operation, a database item named X is read into a program variable, right? In this operation, a database item whose name is X is read into a program variable, right? And in this second operation, write item X, in this operation, the value of program variable x is written into the database item named x, right? In this operation, the value of program variable x is written into the database item whose name is x, right? Now, a transaction is either performed in its uh, entirety or not performed at all, right? Now see, if a transaction fails after executing some of its operations, but before executing all of them, then the operations already executed, right? Must be undone, right? In this case, a transaction is said to be aborted, right? Now, a transaction is either performed in its entirety or not performed at all, right? So, whenever a transaction fails after executing some of its operations but not executing all of its operations, then the operations which have been executed must be undone, right? Now, in this case, 
if this thing happens then the transaction is said to be aborted right now see for example if uh, there is a transaction of uh, transferring uh, $500 from account of Mr. X to account of Mr. Y in a database of a bank. Right. Now here there are two operations. In this transaction there are two operations. One is we have to subtract 500 from the balance of Mr. X and the second operation is we have to add 500 to the balance of Mr. Y. Right. Now either both of these operations should be completed successfully and their effect is recorded permanently in the database or none of them should be performed. Right. If somehow transaction is failed after subtracting 500 from the balance of uh, Mr. X and before adding 500 to the balance of Mr. Y then the effect of uh, subtracting $500 from the balance of Mr. X must be undone right 500 must not be subtracted from the balance of Mr. X right So, a transaction, right, a transaction uh, is either performed in its entirety or not performed at all, right. Now, if uh, all the operations in a transaction are completed successfully and their effect is recorded permanently in the database, then the transaction is said to be committed right now next is the properties of a transaction a transaction must have these properties right and uh, these properties are often called asset properties right and these properties are atomicity consistency preservation isolation and durability right so a transaction must have these properties right and these properties are called asset properties now what does it mean by the atomicity right atomicity a transaction is an atomic unit of processing it should either be performed in its entirety or not performed at all right so a transaction must have this property right next is consistency preservation now what does it mean it means if a transaction is executed completely from beginning to end without interference from other transaction then it should take the database from one consistent state to another right a consistent state of the database satisfies the constraints specified in the schema as well as any other constraints on the database that should hold right now the third property of uh, a transaction is isolation it means execution of a transaction should not be interfered with any other transactions executing concurrently right it means execution of a transaction should not be interfered with any other transactions executing concurrently right now the last one is durability right the changes applied to the database by a committed transaction must persist in the database right now these four properties of a transaction are called asset properties of a transaction.